Yeah, I, uh, it's happened to me a time or two. Guilty. I, admit. Mm -hmm. I wish I was like that guy who kind of walked away pretty quickly. Like, I got an easy job. Yeah, I don't care. Sure. Yeah. There are times, and we have to wake up so early, where yeah. if I'm in bed and I can't fall asleep, then I start worrying about how I can't sleep. Yes, and, and how that's going to impact you how at I should work be sleeping. the next yeah. day. Right. I don't know. I mean, you know, as much as I think we all do it, it's probably good to try to find that work life balance and you know, try not to worry about try. it. Try. Try. Yeah, I don't know Keyword if we succeed try. at it, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe a good day though to get out, kind of yeah. put the cell phone away, yeah. go off for that walk, that bike ride, because it's one of those I think be as nice long afternoon. as, exactly, I was like, I think even if you worry about work going to bed, as long as you give you, yourself some time during the day or after work in the evening uh, to, to spend on your own or, or doing something that makes you happy, that's good. Gotta right. find that balance yeah, somehow, exactly. right? Well, uh, this time last year, we were maybe stressing a little bit about something weather related, and I just kind of wanted to bring this up for perspective and kind of a, a nice little reminder, not in a good way. Obviously, we know that this caused plenty of problems over the next several months, but beginning today, on this date last year, uh, the Boise River rose above flood stage for the first time. So uh, on March 6th, 2017, so yesterday's date, we hit flood stage on the Boise River, which is 7,000 cubic feet per second. We went above that beginning today to about 7150 or 7200 CFS. Uh, that began again months of historic flooding along the Boise River. We all remember well. We don't need the reminder there. Uh, this year, just for comparison, the river currently flowing at just 263 cubic feet per second. That is also well below our average. Water managers instead trying to keep a lot of the water that we have in our reservoirs there for a little while longer so they can release it as we get closer to uh, late spring and summer so that water flows through in a timely form fashion. Last year we had to start letting water out and we saw how close it came uh, to getting just disastrous. So uh, good news we're not dealing with that scenario this year. It's all about perspective, right? So that should make you feel better about the fact that we've got a couple of days of unsettled weather coming our way. Our next storm looks to roll in Thursday into Friday across the Pacific Northwest, mainly impacting us here in Southwest Idaho on Friday. Uh, we could get some valley rain showers out of this one and mountain rain and snow showers as well. Mostly snow in the higher elevations, but mountain valleys might be subject to a little bit of both. Very slight chance we could see some of this roll in tomorrow, but I think that will mainly stay confined to the higher elevations. So those are the spots most at risk for some showers for Thursday. Satellite and radar right now showing really quiet conditions across the entire region. High pressure still in control. This is starting to break down though as this area of low pressure begins swirling its way closer to California's coastline and it's kind of going to lift to the north and east ever so slightly starting to send those initial batches of precipitation our direction. So we'll show you how it kind of plays out on a wider scale. So again that system rolling through for Thursday, but especially Friday uh, bringing rain and snow to the the state and much of the Pacific Northwest region. Then we're eyeing this monster here. This looks like something really impressive and in a sense it is, uh, but of course we know it's out in the ocean. So there's a lot of moisture out there and this storm as it rolls inland as we continue through the next week or so does look to be more impressive than what we're going to be dealing with I would say for Friday, but at this point still a little early to know exactly what's coming at us, but we know there's something else out there that should send another storm into our backyard by sometime Wednesday of next week. Models have kind of been slowing this thing down as it goes, so it's kind of been wanting to take its time coming through the Gulf of Alaska and down into the Pacific Northwest. But we'll keep our eyes on that one. For now, we're more concerned about what's happening Thursday into Friday, mainly Friday for us here in Southwest Idaho. Again, valley rain showers, mountain snow showers with a mix of some rain in there at the lowest elevations in the mountains. Some slippery roads are possible up in the higher elevations. I don't think we're going to see extremely snowpack roads, but we still could be dealing with some winter driving conditions. Snow will be possible above 5,000 feet, especially around here though, much too warm to have any of that coming into play. We'll see highs in the 50s. All right, future cast looking good through this evening. The showers start to come on shore. Uh, we might get a few stray showers kind of hit or miss in nature tomorrow here in southwest Idaho. Most of it staying confined to the higher elevations. Then for Friday, we will watch for more one of those days when I think you're going to want the umbrella for that morning commute, possibly into the evening commute too. Snow in the mountains, but as we get into Friday afternoon, things look like they start to quiet down around the time you come home from work on Friday. So just a brief little system passing through. Shouldn't do too much to spoil your entire weekend, but uh, we will have the potential for some showers. Highs today in the mid 50s. We'll see lots of sunshine early, but increasing clouds quickly as we continue through the day. A little breezy this afternoon, but mild temps high of 54. We hold on to those 50s through the weekend, even though we'll back off a little bit as we get into Friday and Saturday with that storm system coming through. Uh, back to the uh, upper 50s, though, by early next week. So we get one day, I think, where we'll just have some iffy weather and then from there looking pretty good into early next week. All right, get back to me because I know last year we couldn't do it based on the water uh, mm -hmm. levels. You couldn't even get in the water. I see a lot of fly fishermen out there fishing yeah. of all kinds. So, well, and the uh, water levels are still pretty low. Yeah, I keep telling myself I gotta do it. Mm -hmm. now, now I'm putting myself to the this, test. This, this weekend looks good, Brian. Get yeah, to it. Yeah, I think so. All right, I will make sure of that. Thank mm -hmm. you very much.